Today I want to show you how to make your GoPro footage look much faster going from this to this. This effect is called motion blur and it makes things appear blurry when you're moving similar to how the human eye naturally perceives motion. If I pause the video while keeping the camera settings on automatic, everything in the background will appear sharp. On the other hand, if I pause the video with the motion blur effect, everything except me, because I'm not moving from the perspective of the camera mounted on my helmet, is blurred. Achieving this effect is quite simple. First you need an ND filter, which costs around 30 euros on Amazon, depending on the set you buy. Then create and save a new profile with custom settings on your GoPro, so you can easily select it later. Set the ISO max value as low as possible, at a maximum of 400. The lower it is, the better the quality. However, if this value is higher, it's easier for the camera to adapt to low light scenarios. Next, adjust the shutter speed. It should be double your frames per second. Lower FPS will result in more blurriness, creating a greater speed effect. I keep my FPS at 24 and the shutter speed at 48. And that's already it. To summarize, you need to adjust three settings. Set your ISO max as low as possible, I use 200. Choose low FPS, I use 24. And adjust the shutter speed to double your frames per second. In my case, it's 48. If you use these settings, you will notice that the footage looks way overexposed due to the modified shutter speed, allowing more light into the camera lens. This is where ND filters come in. They work like sunglasses for your camera. You can usually buy them in a pack with ND8, 16 and 32. Depending on how sunny the day is, you'll need a different intensity. As you can see, when adding the filters from 8 to 32, the image improves and is no longer overexposed. On a sunny day, I typically use the 32 filter. But if you're unsure, just try them all on your camera lens before filming to see how the footage will turn out.